Today we are updating Woozle's GBA Consolizer to the new firmware. Now I have the older case here, however if you have the newer case it's going to be very simple and very similar to go ahead and update the firmware. Uh, so because I have the older case it does use Allen wrenches um, to go ahead and take off the plexi, so in, our, in this case it's four uh, Allen screws that's going to go ahead and take the plexi and the bottom off. Now the nice thing about this is that if you have the older case uh, you just have to take the bottom off and you'll be able to access the pins needed to go ahead and update the FPGA. Now when you do, when you take it off, you'll see there are pins right at the top corner there, right by the SNES connector. These SPI pins that I circled here, those are the ones you're going to match up with your SPI flasher. So you'll notice that they are labeled um, on, because that is the reverse of the board, but they are actually labeled on the board itself, which is really nice. You're going to want to use DuPont connectors. Again, the shorter the better for less interference. Um, these are the ones I picked up here that have male and female ends. And here's your SPI flasher. Uh, you'll notice on the SPI flasher on the back, it should have uh, labeled where to go ahead and actually hook these up. Again, your flasher may be different. Just make sure to match it up with um, the correct points on the board. Now, those are the points there. Once they're matched up, again, it should label it right on there. Make sure you have that jumper in the place of one and two on the SPI flasher. Then you're going to take your DuPont cables, take off, um, again, about six of them. Um, you're only going to use five. Uh, and when you do, you're going to want to go ahead and cut off the 3.3 volt pin. You're not going to need to use that. We're going to power it through USB. So go ahead, take your flat cutters, and just cut off that 3.3 uh, volt pin as you're not going to be using it. Okay, I highly recommend to make your harness uh, use some electrical tape to go ahead and put the put it all together, the female and the male end, so they don't get separated. Uh, you'll see I have my 3.3 volt that we're not using kind of hanging off there. You can cut that right off if you want. Uh, you'll notice that male end is what's going to be in the FPGA on the consolizer. The female end goes right into your flasher. And again, if you matched up all the pins, put the electrical tape on, it's like a harness. You can just pop it right in. Uh, then you want to pop your SPA fl SPI flasher into your computer. And then bring your consolizer to your SPI flasher. Again, you want to match up those pins. Uh, you'll notice the, it goes ground 3.3 volts, so that's the one that's been taken off. So again, that should be easy to line up right there. That's a good way to guide. Um, you're going to want to hold those pins as you're flashing. But don't forget, you do have to power the board. So we are going to use, uh, again, because Woozle's great design uses micro USB, you take your USB, plug it into your computer to power it that way, and use your micro USB to go ahead and power the board as you are flashing. The board does need to be on. So once your micro USB is in, flick your switch to the on position and hold those pins in place. Uh, again, those SPI pins, they're, they're machine um, holes, so again, you definitely want to go ahead and do that. Hold it in place. Match up the settings here. We've got uh, 25 SPI flash, Winbond, W25Q40BV. Make sure you're, it's all set on the left-hand side. Hold those pins. Hit auto after you go ahead and open Woozle's new firmware. That's important. And then, of course, once you hit auto, you'll be done. Then shut off your consolizer, take out that micro USB, take out those SPI pins, and you're done. With the hardware anyway. Again, you're all set. You can go ahead, you can pop that back and plexi back on uh, as you're ready to go. Now one thing I've noticed, at least on mine, is that when I loaded it up, um, it started, but I was getting a black screen and every time I hit a button, little green lights would show up. If you hit down and select, you'll bring up the menu, go to system, Go down to reset. When you hit reset, then you'll see your picture is back. 
Ta-da, just like that. So, hit save. After everything's all set, I put on 60 hertz. I prefer that for mine. So after it comes back, hit save. And there you go, you're on the new firmware. So go ahead, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash massvideogamer. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope this helped you out. Well, let's catch you later, guys.